So welcome to your yoga nidra practice. My name is Marin, and I am your guide tonight. Before we fully lay back to explore inwards, I'll invite you to engage in a little bit of movement. And this movement will be very specific to what your body needs or wants in this moment. So if anybody is feeling like you have lots of energy, you might want to um, stand up and move a little bit with your breath. If you're feeling a little bit of energy, but not quite um, ambitious to be standing, you could come into a seated posture or you could be laying fully down onto your back and allow that to be where you engage in movement. Now, the way that we will move is aligned with our breath. And I'll encourage you to find an oscillation of movement with your breath, meaning two different directions or two different movements that you just flow from one side to the other or up and down or forward and back, guided by your breath. And allowing this to be a journey where perhaps each breath moves a little deeper, a little slower, impacting your movement to be a little slower, to be felt a little deeper. And after a few rounds of breath moving in whatever way you're moving, you might feel called to move in a different way. And again, these could be big, obvious movements, yet they could be really subtle. The most gentle movement of your head from side to side. Or feeling your breath move through your body like a wave and riding that wave with the gentle snake-like movement of your spine. Allow your movement and your breath to inform you as to what wants to happen next. perhaps following that movement into other areas of your body or you might find that the movement you began with is the movement you're continuing and the movement your body wants more of and however you are moving Allow the movement to become a little softer. Noticing if there's any tension in your body. Getting curious about how you could either shift your posture or relax into your breath a little bit more to support that tension. so that it can be dispersed throughout your body or just softened as you consciously exhale and let go. And allow moments of stillness at any point in time, even if you're just curious, as to what it might feel like to be still after these couple minutes of moving. To notice the ripples of your movement and your breath continuing to wave through your flesh. And after a few more moments of stillness, 
Invite in gentle movement once again. And let it be even softer, even slower. Perhaps even more subtle. Like a gentle rocking in your pelvis. Or simply exaggerating the movement of your breath by 1%. Yoga Nidra is a journey through the limbs of yoga. We will be differentiating the layers of our being, which are called Maya. Each layer starts with a word that finishes with Maya to signify the category of that layer. And while we differentiate these layers, we will also be consciously integrating them, doing so with radical inclusion and heart leadership. And our journey leads us to our deepest layer called Ananda. Within your next few breaths, if you haven't already settled into Shavasana, into your corpse pose, then take your time to do so now. Ensuring that you have the comfort and support that you need so that your body can be held. It might be good to turn the lights off if they're not already. taking your time to settle into this position. Ananda transcends all the activities of the mind. It gives us the experience of a felt sense of a homecoming to our true nature, our oneness, our spirit, our soul, our reunion with the divine. We recognize that all of the fluctuations of the mind, when perceived through the lenses of our various layers of being, and without remembering of your true nature, can only bring sorrow in the end. Yet when we recognize that maya is what leads to forgetting who we truly are, while simultaneously gifting us a path to experience a life of our very own. We can then unblend from our experience and ride the highs and lows of our unique wave while remaining connected to the higher self. It is here that we can turn towards our experience, our pain, our joys, our thoughts, and heal what's been isolated or stuck by again practicing radical inclusion, compassion, kindness, patience, curiosity, all the while consciously breathing. So as you settle into your position, take a few moments to open your eyes if you've already closed them and allow your eyes to drift around your space, noticing detail, not judging or making meaning or telling stories about what you see just noticing how the lines connect to create shapes. How the light blends into shadow or where the ceiling meets the wall. And 
And then for a few moments, notice what it's like to move your eyes, your head and neck, and your breath as if you are weaving them or braiding them in this moment. And then when you feel ready, close your eyes and settle your head back into relative stillness. And turn your attention inwards to observe, feel, and listen to your breath. It is time to let go of our thinking mind. to allow our left brain hemisphere to fall asleep and give our right brain hemisphere more space to notice, to observe. So let go of trying to figure this out or categorizing or making meaning while you are in this experience. Allow your felt sensations of your somatic experience to take the lead. Begin to notice your breath with a little more attention. And notice what it's like to call your attention in closer to your body. Noticing the sensations of your breath, perhaps at the rims of your nostrils. Following the sensations of your breath through your nasal passages and down your throat. Perhaps noticing the subtle or obvious changes in pressure in your chest and abdomen as you breathe. And the felt sensation of sound and the movement of your breath as it ripples and waves through your oceanic flesh. Invite your awareness to now land in your inner ears. Follow the sound as it moves inwards and feel the sound of my voice vibrating. Notice if your body is in need of any further adjustments or support even if there's something you could do to make yourself 1% more comfortable. Move and reposition as desired and notice what it feels like to offer yourself the space to be met with your own loving care and attention. Now for the next three breaths, as we exhale, let's elongate the exhale with a hum and feel the vibration moving in your mouth, nose, throat, and flesh. So a slow inhale, a long hum. Mm. Two more, take your time. Notice where you feel the vibration. Mm. 
One more. And now shift back into what feels like a natural nourishing breath. Get curious to see what it would feel like to extend your breath by one second, not to breathe in more, but to breathe in slow motion. Notice your breath as it moves slow low and light. Feel the quality of the space you now inhabit. As your breath continues to move with its own subtle consciousness. The practice of yoga nidra begins now. Gaze deeply into the space behind your eyelids. Look for the still point that is a reflection of your inner stillness. This inner stability that is always there. Gazing at this still point Make a commitment to stay awake, to allow your body to rest and to stay awake and aware, to experience and relish in your restoration. Make another commitment to listen deeply and to follow my voice. Observing the quality of each moment as you journey inwards. Maintain your gaze within this relaxed connection to the space behind your eyelids. And then shift your inner gaze to the felt sensation of your heart space. What is a quality or emotion that would be supportive for your practice or your being in this moment? Patience, centeredness, calm, peacefulness, compassion or something else. Choose what you need. Activate it at the heart level. Rather than repeating the word cognitively, notice what it feels like to infuse it into your breath. Your breath as the message and the messenger. And for the next three slow, low and light breaths, allow this sense of being to wash over you and through you.
Breathe this chosen quality into every cell of your being. And now repeat that same quality internally three times, starting with, I am blank. Three times, repeat it. And then once again, let go of language and rest into the glow of your body expressing and receiving this quality with each conscious breath. Our first layer, Anamaya Kosha, the physical or food layer of your being. Take a moment to feel your soft internal focus, meeting the beating of your heart. With your conscious breath and an internal loving yes, invite your heart to remain open, soft and supple. Relax deeper to feel your heart's metronome with your whole body's attention. Your mind steadying and attuning in concert with your heart and your breath. Feel the backside of your body. Scanning from the top of your head down to your toes. And then feel your whole body resting and relaxing into the support of the earth. Feel the downward pull of gravity on your skin, your muscles, and your bones. I will now guide you through what is called the rotation of consciousness, a guided journey into different parts of your body. And with each inhale, guide your awareness to land into the center of the body part I speak of. And as you exhale, feel your awareness and felt sensation intelligently expand out from that center point. Start in your right palm. Right wrist. Your right elbow. Your right shoulder. the right side of your neck, the right side of your head, traveling down to the right side of your chest.
the right side of your low abdomen. Your right hip. Right knee. Right ankle. The sole of your right foot. Now feel your whole right side. Whole right side. Distill your awareness down once again to land in your left palm. Left wrist. Left elbow. Left shoulder. The left side of your neck. Left side of your head. Travel down to land in the left side of your chest. Left side of your low abdomen. Left hip. Left knee. Left ankle. The sole of your left foot. Feel your whole left side. Whole left side. And on your next inhale, imagine and visualize that you can breathe in through your left side. Breathe out your right side. In through your right. Out through your left. In on the left side. Exhale on the right side. Continue like that for a few more rounds of breath. As if every cell, every pore in your body has its own nostril. Whole side of the body breathing. And releasing. Now guide your awareness to the tip of your nose and imagine you have one nostril like a straw from the tip of your nose to the center of your brain. Breathing in and out through that one single channel.
And now feel your whole body. Whole body breathing. Whole body being breathed. Pranamaya kosha, our second layer, the energy or life force layer of your being. Continue to be with your breath as you guide your awareness to this flowing quality moving through you and all around you. Allow your awareness to flow freely through your body, discovering the subtle sensations of fluid pulsing through you and around you. Fluid pulsing in a rhythm that is felt with each heartbeat and each breath. Let yourself drift into the rhythm of those waves. This is the flow of life moving through you. Settle into this experience of the life-giving rivers of your body. Feel for the simultaneous experience of your unique wave and being the whole ocean waving. We need to step through the veil into Mano Maya Kosha, the mental or mind layer. Notice what it's like to invite in the experience of contraction. Noticing where you feel contracted or what a contraction feels like. Let go of story or meaning or categorizing. Can you be with the felt experience of contraction in this moment? On your next inhale, invite your body into the experience of opening. Let it be a transition as you feel more and more open with each breath. Patiently inviting your body mind to open. Let go of stories or meaning and just be open.
Now notice what it's like to remain open, yet invite back in the experience of contraction. Radical inclusion as you hold contraction and opening simultaneously. Notice your experience with both. Is there confusion? Do they clash? Do they dance? Feel both. Release both with your next exhale. Come back into the wave-like movement of your breath. And then invite in the experience of effort. Efforting. Notice how that appears for you in this moment. going deeper beneath story and notice your somatic felt sensation of effort in this moment. How does it show up for you? What does it feel like? And within your next couple of breaths, release effort and shift into surrender. Let your breath show you the way, transitioning into surrender. Letting go of trying to figure it out and just surrender. Notice your experience of surrender without judgment or labels. Just observe and feel. Staying open to surrender. Now invite back in effort. Radical inclusion, effort and surrender simultaneously. What's your experience? On your next exhale, let go a little bit more. As we now shift into our fourth layer, Vigyana, Mayakosha, the higher mind or wise discernment. Begin by illuminating the space behind your eyelids to visualize and feel the waves of all parts of you united in a synchronous dance, moving to the rhythm of your breath. Radical inclusion as more and more of you weaves in to this dance your physical, tangible body, your energetic body, your mental and emotional body, your visual or intuitive body, 
your connection to everything and everyone. What do you see or feel in this interconnected web or dance? Is it a flowing tapestry? Is it oceanic? Perhaps a rainbow of colors weaving within. Feel into all of your senses for this breath and heart led orchestra, rhythmically moving your body mind. Recall the sensation or emotion or quality that you invited in at the start of our practice for support. And invite and allow that to also weave into this moment's experience, creating and collaborating. Feeding into the constant change in the movement of each breath each wave colliding, collaborating, resonating. And now focus your gaze at the still point within that infinite horizon behind your eyelids. Can you float? in this stillness. Feeling your inner stability and the constant oceanic movement. Settling into your being rather than your doing. Can you do nothing? Just rest, breathe, be still. Let your spirit graze on ease, allowing the knots and the ropes inside to unravel in the innate intelligence of your body-mind. Let yourself rest here.
Can you recognize that you are not just the one looking out? You are also the light on the other side, looking back at ourself. Now, once again, recall the chosen quality that you invited in at the start of practice. Repeat it again three times, starting with, I am. Hold space for the echo and reverberation. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Heriyom Tatsat. Heriyom Tatsat. Heriyom Tatsat. Take your time to slowly feel your senses begin the journey extending outwards once again. Noticing the sounds in your space. Any smells. The sensations of the air or your clothing or blankets touching your skin. Open your eyes when you feel ready and take a few moments to look around your space, noticing detail. You could stay where you are if you want to remain in this position for a while longer. Otherwise, you could make the transition into a seated posture if that would feel good for completing your practice. Wherever you are, bring your hands to rest on your heart space. Take a moment to feel your breath and your heart and your own loving hands on your body. And I'm going to finish our practice with a quote from a book called Fragrance After Rain by Jaya John. Beloved, worry not about achieving. Learn to be. That will be your greatest achievement. Your existence is a miracle, a monument a majesty all by itself. You cannot be more worthy than you were when your spirit joined this world of living things. Unburden yourself of feeling inferior 
insufficient, incomplete, unaccomplished. Your soul is the accomplishment. Behold the masterpiece that you are, always were and always will be. Return from the endless wander of doing. Come home to being. A feast called peace is waiting at the reunion place inside your soul. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Namaste.